Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for June eighth, two thousand and fifteen. We are looking at a very muggy, humid week on the way. But first, we're going to deal with some showers and thunderstorms, especially this evening, that will target much of the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. If you live in eastern Pennsylvania, I would pay especially a close attention to that radar this afternoon and evening, as these thunderstorms will have the capability to reach severe levels. Along the coast, well, we know the drill here. Uh, by the time the showers and thunderstorms reach our neck of the woods, the showers and thunderstorms will be weakening, with only heavy rain really the primary threat. But we'll keep an eye on them. So currently this morning, we have temperatures in the mid to upper 50s over the northern interior, upper 50s to lower 60s in some of your suburbs around the cities, and then in the cities themselves, we are in the mid 60s with a south-southeasterly wind around 5 to 15 miles per hour. On the radar, we can see showers and a few isolated thunderstorms over central Pennsylvania and over western New York. These showers and thunderstorms are associated with a warm front that will move through the region. This is the first wave. This will start to collapse as it approaches our region, mostly because all the lifting is still focused well to the west with the warm front itself. But these showers and thunderstorms are racing ahead of the warm front. Once they reach our neck of the woods, they'll start to weaken rapidly, but then we're going to get another line, a very strong line, moving through central Pennsylvania this afternoon and marching into eastern Pennsylvania. By the time it reaches our coastal regions, the instability will be a little bit weaker, and so these showers and thunderstorms will be more focused away from the severe aspect and more towards the heavy rain. On our infrared satellite picture, you can see our warm front out here over the Great Lakes. We have a very impressive cluster of thunderstorms over the Ohio River Valley and the Great Lakes that is starting to weaken, as is expected uh, by this morning. Now, this cold front here is what's going to move through tomorrow afternoon. But we're dealing with a rather interesting pattern in that we're shifting away from the pattern we've been dealing with since the start of June with a cool weather pattern and influence of polar air masses. The jet stream is starting to basically reload and as that happens it flattens out. So what we're going to be entering starting on Thursday, Wednesday somewhat, but we won't really feel the humidity, but on Thursday and Friday and Saturday it will definitely be hot and humid with temperatures in the upper 80s to lower 90s for highs, dew points in the 60s. Now this is what's important, the mid-60s. That's going to lead to some rather humid weather conditions and lead to a heat index anywhere from the lower to mid-90s for the end of this week. So if you like hot and humid weather conditions and you like going to the beach, it's going to be an excellent weather pattern for you. If you don't, well, well there's always air conditioning, right? So let's take a look at the latest model guidance from the Penn State Evolve website. We're going to use the European model guidance. And again, for today, our warm front moves through the region. Our cold front is still to the west. Watch out for showers and thunderstorms, especially this evening. The most likely uh, areas to experience the worst thunderstorms will be over eastern Pennsylvania, extreme western New Jersey. And these thunderstorms will be capable of very heavy downpours, frequent lightning, Wind gusts over 60 miles per hour, small hail, and yes, even an isolated tornado. So we have to watch that very, very carefully. As you move towards the coast, the threat turns more into a heavy rain threat for tonight. As the thunderstorms approach and the atmosphere becomes a little bit more stable uh, by late this evening. We'll have to watch those thunderstorms very carefully, though. They can sometimes pull a little bit of a log card on you, so you always have to keep an eye on them. For tomorrow, the cold front moves through. Now, the timing of the cold front is still a little bit in question, but we're looking at around noon, so the instability will not be the greatest, but still there will be a threat for showers and thunderstorms. For today, I need to backtrack a little bit, sorry about that. High temperatures for today, and this is why the thunderstorms will not be as strong along the coast, will be in the mid-70s, so a little bit more stable right along the coast. For the Philadelphia Metro and basically the Delaware River Valley in the upper 70s to lower 80s. Now tomorrow the cold front starts to move through. Low temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. High temperatures tomorrow in the mid to upper 70s along the immediate coast. Lower to mid 80s in the Delaware River Valley including the Philadelphia Metro. With showers and thunderstorms throughout the region. 
the best potential for widespread showers and thunderstorms again will be over eastern Pennsylvania and western New Jersey with a slightly more unstable atmosphere. By the time we get to Tuesday night and Wednesday, high pressure takes control and high pressure will be in control for Wednesday and Thursday. Now, note on Wednesday, the high pressure system is a little bit disorganized and the winds are more from the west. By Thursday, high pressure is more established off of the coast, right around Bermuda, at all levels of the atmosphere. So you have a southwesterly flow at all levels of the atmosphere by Thursday. So notice the difference in temperatures and humidity. On Wednesday, we have low temperatures in the mid-60s, high temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. Dew points, though, are in the 50s, so it's definitely warmer, uh, definitely clear skies, comfortable weather conditions because the humidity is low. By Thursday, temperatures are in the mid to upper 60s for lows, high temperatures in the mid to upper 80s along the immediate coast, upper 80s to lower 90s over the Delaware River Valley. Dew points, though, are in the lower to mid 60s, so you're going to feel it's going to be more humid. On Friday, a cold front will start to approach the region, but will be rather late in the period. So much of the day on Friday will we'll basically have scattered cloud cover. Temperatures on Friday will be in the upper 60s to lower 70s, much more humid than what we've been experiencing. High temperatures in the mid 80s along the coast, upper 80s to lower 90s over the Delaware River Valley. Heat index will be in the lower to mid 90. Look for showers and thunderstorms to develop late in the evening. On Saturday, the cold front will move through with showers and thunderstorms expected. Now, Saturday looks to be a bit of a wet day because the cold front is going to be slow to move through. Look for low temperatures in the lower to mid 70s, supporting plenty of moisture in the atmosphere. High temperatures in the mid 80s along the coast, upper 80s to lower 90s over the Delaware River Valley. With showers and thunderstorms throughout the region, making for a rather unsettled start to the weekend. On Sunday, though, high pressure is in full control. Now notice there's a major difference in where this high pressure system is located. And this is what's going to be key for, for the Sunday forecast. Notice the convergence and confluence over New England. Well, that basically means you have more of your sinking air basically over New England on down through the northern mid-Atlantic. So the high pressure system isn't from the southwestern Atlantic where you have a Bermuda influence. This is an influence from the Canadian Maritimes. So you can see all that dry air building in from the Canadian Maritimes and the suppression of the tropical air. So what you end up with is clear skies on Sunday, low temperatures initially in the upper 60s to lower 70s, high temperatures though along the coast in the upper 70s to lower 80s, and over the Delaware River Valley, lower to mid 80s, with dew points rapidly falling through the 50s. That is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. Thank you for following NYNJPA weather, and as always, stay safe out there.